You could make the case for Lichfield to be one of England's Euro trademark's most beautiful towns. There are many streets of sublime 18th century architecture, and the breathtaking Lichfield Cathedral, built in the 13th century and the only medieval cathedral anywhere to have three spires. Lichfield has brains as well as beauty, as two of 18th century Britannia Euro trademark's cultural heavyweights are associated with the city. The writer Samuel Johnson was born here in 1709 and is considered among Britannia Euro trademark's greatest men. Of letters. Johnson a Euro trademark's birthplace has been preserved as a museum, while the home of the polymath Erasmus Darwin, grandfather of Charles, is an enthralling museum in a beautiful property. A complete contrast to Lichfield, Stoke, in the north of the county, has a gritty character but is no less appealing if you know what you are Euro trademark re looking for. Stoke is actually a federation of six different but contiguous towns, and its claim to fame for hundreds of years has been the pottery industry. This has faded since the Second World War, but brands like Royal Dalton and Wedgwood are still based here. The Gladstone Pottery Museum in Longton is a functioning coal fired pottery, with the Signature bottle kills that used to pepper the landscape. Go deeper at the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery, which has exquisite displays of local ceramics, but also has some of the Staffordshire Hoard, the largest cache of Anglo Saxon metalwork ever discovered. The county town is a small but attractive place crammed with historical buildings and with elegant country houses like Shugborough Estate and Sandon Hall minutes from the center on the pedestrianist Greengate Street, Stafford a Euro trademark s main shopping artery, feast your eyes on the ancient high house. This remarkable four-story Cantal Everett house was built in 1594 and the carpenter saw Euro trademark marks etched into the timbers indicate that they had once belonged to an even older house. Charles I stayed at this very property in 1643, Shortly after the start of the Civil War, a siege took place at Stafford Castle in this war, and once it fell into parliamentarian hands it was pulled down. Staffordshire a Euro trademark's second largest town has been around for a very long time, and was the capital of the Anglo-Saxon Kingdom of Mercia which took up almost all of central England in the 8th century. The majestic Tamworth Castle, perched above the confluence of the Anchor and Tame rivers has Anglo-Saxon origins, having been fortified by the Mercian Queen Aethelfla D and then rebuilt by the Normans. Now eat a Euro trademark s one of the most complete original Mott and Bailey castles in England. Tamworth ha Euro trademark s Old Town is replete with lovely period properties, many now housing independent shops. Staffordshire has the southwestern corner of this national park, and the area is known as the Staffordshire Moorlands. There a Euro trademark s a load of individual beauty spots to visit and an inexhaustible choice of footpaths, bridleways, and cycling tracks wending through the brooding moors. Rootyard Lake is an 18th century water reservoir created to feed the Caldon Canal. The Victorians turned it into a little resort, and, with its wooded hillsides and miniature steam railway, Eda Euro trademark s still a big draw today. The writer Rudyard Kipling, whose parents were frequent visitors, was named after Rudyard Lake. As Staffordshire a Euro trademark s last town before the Peak District, Leek is a tourist-friendly destination welcoming walkers and anyone enticed by the blend of verdant countryside and wild moorland all around. The town itself is a former center for the silk and textiles industries. These granted Leek a host of dignified Georgian and Victorian buildings, best seen at the marketplace which is a pleasure to wander around for a while. Point one of Leek a Euro trademark's most imposing buildings is the old Nicholson Institute, and inside is a museum with, among other things, an assortment of the embroideries that won the town fame in the 19th century. For awesome rocky scenery, there a Euro trademark s the roaches, a sandstone ridge above the Titusworth Reservoir, and the manifold way on the route of an old train line past limestone rock formations.
A coal town for hundreds of years, Cheadle switched to high-tech manufacturing in the 1990s, although none of this industry intrudes on the picturesque town center the standout landmark in Cheadle is St. Jalisa Euro trademark Catholic Church, one of the definitive examples of 19th century Gothic revival architecture. It was designed by Augustus Pugin, who also designed London a Euro trademark S Houses of Parliament and took responsibility for even the tiniest decorative details, which grants this building a coherence that is hard to find anywhere else. Being on the edge of the Peak District, Cheadle is in prime walking country, while the old Foxfield Steam Railway also courses through the region and is a glorious way to experience the countryside of northeastern Staffordshire. From the 1700s, Burton Euro Trademark S presence on the navigable Trent and England Euro Trademark S growing canal network helped it become one of European Euro Trademark S big brewing towns. Burton Euro Trademark S sales were soon delivered across the country and also exported to the Baltic states. The National Brewery Center is set in what was once the brewery for base ale and give you fascinating insights about how beer making developed in this part of England. There are also stables with Shire horses a variety famous for its a euro e fiathered legs a euro and bread to transport barrels of ale dot on the north side of the town is something you want a euro trademark tea find very often a completely restored victorian public utility dot in this case the clay mills pumping station which once pumped sewage with the help of four large beam pumping engines There has been a market in Newcastle since 1173 and in the 21st century Eda Euro trademark s still flourishing. Safe to say the town would na Euro trademark t be the same without it, as the high street market runs six days a week. The best days to visit are Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays when the general market trades cheese, meat, fruit and vegetables and well as hot food like freshly baked pies. There is acres of well-tended green space around the town and Newcastle has been recognized by the Britain in Bloom. Campaign for its flowery parks and roundabouts. Drama fans should find out what a Euro trademark s on at the New Vic Theatre, which became the first ever purpose-built theatre in the round, a stage entirely encircled by seating, when it opened in 1986. On the southern side of Stoke, the village of Trentham is best known for the Trentham Estate, which was dominated by a magnificent hall up to the 20th century when it was torn down. The Halle Euro trademark S clock tower, church, and sculpture gallery survived and offer a sense of the splendor of the estate. The Italianate gardens backing onto the River Trent are still here too, and are fabulous, boasting formal lawns, stone vases, and balustrades. Also wildly popular is the Trentham Monkey Forest. In exceptional animal attraction in which some 140 Barbary macaques live in semi-freedom in the boughs of woodland above your head. <laughs> <laughs>